Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be talking to you today about the latest news from the developers of Sons of the Forest. If you're a fan of survival horror games, you're in for a treat. So the developers have just announced that they're releasing Sons of the Forest in early access on February 23rd, and they're looking to involve the community in the continued development of the game. Oh. Now, as you guys may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of this genre, and I've been following the Sons of the Forest for a while now. So this news has me pretty hyped. And you know, it's not often that I use the word hype in the context of a survival horror game, but I think this is a good move by the developers. I mean, why keep all the fun to themselves, right? They're clearly confident in the state of the game, so why not share it with us and let us help shape it into the ultimate survival horror simulator? And I have to say, I think this is a smart move. Just look at the success of The Forest, which was also released in early access and turned into one of the best survival crafting games thanks to the community's involvement and feedback. I'm confident that the Sons of the Forest will follow in its footsteps. I am sure the core announcements previously announced, such as the new enemies, NPC companions, larger and more detailed world map, advanced AI systems giving enemies individual behavior and organic unpredictable actions, new dynamic seasonal system that will create new and exciting gameplay survival decisions, new building system that allows you to place logs and stones wherever and however you want, and the new weapons already announced will only get better with the help of the community. So, what can we expect from Sons of the Forest in early access? Well, the developers say that the game is playable in both single and multiplayer with up to eight players. There's a brand new building system, a new crafting system, plenty of caves to explore, an arsenal of weapons, dynamic weather and seasons, and of course, terrifying enemies. And that's not all. The developers are planning to add even more to the game during early access period. They're talking about more items, more things you can 3D print, more to build and discover, as well as additional game mechanics and lore. This is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. Now, I know what you're thinking. How long is this game going to be in early access? Well, the developers are hoping for around six to eight months, but as we all know, things can change. The important thing is that you're going to leave early access when they're sure that this is the best version of the game possible. And I think we can all agree that a well-polished game is worth the wait, right? And finally, the big question. Is the price going to change during and after early access? The answer is no. The developers don't plan on changing the price. So if you're looking for a great value for your money, this is it. So that's the latest news on the Sons of the Forest. I'm really excited to see what the future holds for this game, and I can't wait to dive in and start playing. I think this is a great opportunity for the community to get involved and shape the game into something truly special. And who knows? Maybe we'll even get to see some of our own suggestions and feedback make it into the final version. The journey starts on February 23rd, so gear up and get ready to survive the Sons of the Forest. My dear?